Hey Aquarius, y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. So yes, we got a new moon in Aquarius today. We in the two 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 portal. Yes, today is February the second, twenty twenty two. All these tools, if y'all been seeing tools lately, drop two 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 in the comment section below. Yes, y'all. So we got a new moon. So let me let it's time to set intentions. It's time to manifest. It's time to cleanse. All right, so let's do this, y'all. Let's get a message for the Aquarius. What's going on with the Aquarius? What's going on with the Aquarius? Okay, we got the Grim Reaper and Passion. And the Chaser. Death and Paradise here at the bottom and Hammer. So something, the passion in a situation, um, it could be something work-related. It could be something um, that you're passionate about. It could actually be being passionate and, and romance. Okay, I feel like something is gone. We got the Grim Reaper and the coffee here. So something's gone as well as Hammer. So something has been sabotaged. Somebody's happiness, like um, enjoying each other's um, company and stuff. Something has been shattered here. For some of you, it's with your twin flame. For some of you, I feel like it's chasing after a dream, something that you're passionate about. Um, for some of you, it's something that you're passionate about that you may no longer be passionate about. Some of you are trying to rebuild a foundation that has um, changed, okay, that has transitioned. There's some, there's some type of ending. Let's look at the Moonology, moonology cards. And let's see what's going on. That's too many. I'm seeing also some of y'all dreams. They need a practical, need a practical plan. Okay, so some of you um, are losing passion in something. And it's because you don't have, you haven't sat down and actually wrote these things down, made a vision board, or actually visualized this, how you want it to go from beginning to end. Like, some of you have to have a practical plan, okay? A new romantic cycle begins. Don't let your past hold you back. Wow. Wow. So for some of you, it's in regards to your passion. It's in regards to your purpose. For some of you, it's in regards to a person, a relationship, a connection. Some of y'all got new romance coming in. But the thing about this is you, you're going to have to let go of your past. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We got a jumper. Four of swords. Yeah, see, some of y'all are tired of feeling uh, worried or having some of y'all are having anxiety. Some of y'all feel like you're, some of y'all are having trouble holding on to a person. Like, some of y'all just are kind of like, you know, like, really at this point, I'm not even trying to hold on to this person right now. Some of y'all are just flat out tired. Some of y'all are like, nah, I need a break. This is draining me. 
See, a lot of y'all are scared to communicate how you feel, or this person, some of y'all dealing with the uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone is afraid to express how they feel. All right, so it looks like it's a communication issue, which I'm extremely surprised by because Aquarius are known to kind of like just give it to you raw, straight, no chaser. So, I mean, maybe it's the approach, but let's take a look and see. Especially if you're dealing with a water sign. Water signs are typically more um, sensitive. Seven of Swords. Wow. Temperance. Hang on. Some of y'all think that this connection should have been to the next level by now. Um, I see a lot of y'all have already put in a lot of work. You invested a lot into this connection or this dream or goal because for some of you i'm seeing that it's definitely a goal a dream some of you dream some of you guys dreams is to get married um some of y'all are feeling like y'all should take y'all time I'm seeing a lot of slow down energy like if some of y'all feel like you need some time or you need to take some time or the situation can is taking up a lot of your time. I'm getting that energy. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. So there is an issue here that needs to be resolved. And I feel like you're going to find a solution to this problem. Definitely some of y'all could be dealing with the water sign. This is a male older than you. Could be a little bit older. Um, could be a business owner. Could be very professional. Um, some of y'all also are working on uh, controlling your emotions, keeping your emotions in check. On the things that you say. And I feel like a lot of times it's not what you say, it's how, you, how it comes off to others. You're tired of having regrets, okay? You're tired of having regrets. All right, some of y'all could be dealing with the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Whatever the case may be, this person could be very business-oriented. Like, you like this person because they're grounded. Um, they're practical. And I feel like some of you are just getting to a place where you're kind of, like, tired of feeling um, imbalanced. Somebody here could also be getting um, lied to, manipulated. Why is the Seven of Swords here as the challenge? Oh, wow. Six of Wands. Okay. Okay. For some of you, it is definitely like the passion and the romance could be fading okay because somebody here could be feeling like someone just sleeps around with everybody like i'm getting community thing thing here like somebody's confidence level is through the roof um somebody is like coming straight from their ego like they are very very arrogant this is something that you don't like. This is something that you don't like about this person. Some of you are just getting to the point where you're frustrated in this connection because there's relationships. Yes, yeah, see, some of y'all want to leave. Some of y'all feel like it's time for y'all to exit love because this person is got some community, boom, boom, on some community with me, okay? So, yeah, you feel like, yeah, this whole person's holding you back. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you've been hella patient. 
hella patient with this person. Yeah, you've been hella patient with this person, but you feel like this person does have a third party involved. Um, some of y'all have went above and beyond to try to satisfy this person. Um, and it just seems like they, it's just not working. So some of y'all are packing up all y'all things and y'all are moving on. Y'all are finding, yep, yeah, eight of cups and the six of swords. You don't, you no longer want to collab with this person. You no, wanna, no longer want to build with this person. You are looking for something spanking brand new. And this time you're going to make sure that it's better. I feel like a lot of you are working on your appearance. You're working on your weight. You're working on your, um, you're just getting very much so leveled up, okay? I feel like you may have felt like this person was a fling, okay? Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, and the King of Wands. Like this person either ended up being a fling or this person has other flings outside of the connection. I feel like you spied on this person. You found this information out, okay? So... Somebody could be married here. This person could have been married. You did not know that this person was married. You just found out that this person was married. Maybe you, yeah, because I'm seeing like someone could be a married man here. But this person could be like a little, a little, got a little hoish ways. Okay. Um, could be a Virgo. Yeah. Once this information got back to you, this information pissed you off. Um, you tried something new. This person could have been somebody that you wouldn't even normally. They're not even really your type. Um, I feel like you went through this person's phone or you got some information from a friend. Could have told you that they saw this person, that this person had some secrets. Um... I feel like you love this person. We got the lovers and the king cups. Could it be a water sign or Gemini? So you're surprised that you you kind of like fell into something, into a situation like this. But some of y'all are packing y'all bags and getting the hell out of Dodge. Now, this person is coming with this page of cups energy um, and this ace of swords. So they're saying that this that is not true. I'm getting them saying like, that's not true. Um... But the thing about this is when the relationships when relationships get tough, this person likes to um play victim. They like to play victim. Um, but they're saying that this isn't true. So you can confront this person. Um, and they're spying. They're watching you to see if you can see if you change, if they can change your mind. Okay, so this person think they got a talk game. Okay, they think they got to give the gap. Knight of Cups when I say that. This person think they got to give the gap. And then the devil here. This person is toxic as hell. They're the devil. You know, this, this. Yeah, see. I feel like you wanted to ask this person first. Um, is it true? Is this true or not? But with the justice as the outcome, I feel like you get karma is served. Karma goes in your favor. You know your worth, okay? I feel like you may have just kind of felt stuck for a minute. You were uncertain for a moment about, um, oh, this person's true colors just fell out. This person's true colors. I feel like you took a risk on this person. I keep getting fire sign Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You took a risk on this person, and this person ended up giving bad vibes. If you don't get your act together, you might have to pack lights and do you bad vibes. My patience running low, and I ain't got a lot of time. Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. This relationship was toxic. It wasn't a good fit. Um, I feel like you argued all the time. You wanted out of the situation anyway. It was stressful. Um, 
This person wants multiple people at a time. Okay, so this person isn't ready for anything monogamous. They wanna they wanna practice polyandry, polygamy, all that other stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the message that I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and I'm gonna chat with you later.